Hello everybody. I'm going to show you in this video how you can turn on um, two-factor, two-step verification for your um, school email account. So the first thing you can do is just um, go on to a new tab or just go um, to Google. And from there, you can get to your account settings from two places, either from if you once you're signed in, you can click on the little picture icon of you and go to manage your account. Or you should also be able to find from the waffle here um, your account in in one of these tabs here. So you're going to go into your account and then on the menu on the left, you're going to want to go down to the security menu. So you'll go ahead and click on the security menu. And then um, you can check and see if there's any recommendations and always go through those. That's um, good and helpful. But if you scroll down to the third, um, third little box, you'll see um, the two-step verification button here. And um, if it's turned off, you're going to want to click on that. And then it'll take you through the process of getting started with turning it on. So I'll say get started. And you, um, you can pick what you want to use to, um, to verify that it's you logging in. And again, this only, um, it's, the two steps only required when you're logging in on an unfamiliar device. So once you've logged in once um, and kind of saved that as a familiar device, you won't necessarily have to do the two-step again, but um, it might give you, it might prompt you with a device that you're signed in on, on your school email, and, and if that's a good device for you, you can use that. You can also say, um, show more options, um, if you'd prefer to get like a text message or voice call um, to sign in, you can choose those, um, and then you would just put in um, whatever number you want to use, and um, and go through that whole um, setup process. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back to the prompt here and I'm gonna continue. And then it will ask you to add a backup option either way, or you can use a different one if you don't wanna use that one. So it'll give you some codes you can save as well. Okay. And then from there, once you have put in what you want to use, you'll go ahead and it'll send you a prompt to put in a one-time code just to make sure that you have access to that device. And then once you're there, the last thing will be to turn it on. And then you're all set. Your two-step um, verification is on and ready to go and your email will be even more secure. And if you need any assistance, you can always contact the District Help Desk or your TTL at your site.